Hello, this is Keith All, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create this comic book background that you see here. Now, in today's tutorial, I won't show you how I did the text or the star shape behind this, but I'm just going to show you how I did this uh, background. Um, so let's uh, get to it. Um, let's come over here. I already have uh, a background layer with the linear gradient that I uh, created. Now you could choose whatever gradient that you want. Uh, that'll be up to you. But let's uh, create this background, which is a half tone background along with a shape that you could see, like almost like a star or vector shape uh, uh, behind it. So let's go over here. Let's click on the new layer icon. We're going to create a black to white gradient, a linear gradient. So we're going to select a gradient tool. We're going to come up here. We're going to select a preset, which is foreground to background. In this case, my foreground and background colors are set over here. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to draw a horizontal line using the shift key on a PC because what that does, it just uh, lets you draw the gradient uh, as a straight line. Okay, now uh, from here, I want to do a filter, pixelate, and then color halftone. And the larger uh, the number that you have up here for pixels, the larger the dots will be. So I just uh, created a, a, a small number so it creates many small dots. And I'm going to leave the channel ones, 1 through 4 is set to 0. Because if you set these numbers greater than 0, it's going to be color dots. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to uh, come over here, make sure this layer is selected, and I'm going to select a blend mode uh, of soft light. Now I want to add that shape. So I, I come over here, and I'm going to choose custom shape. I'm going to set the uh, fill as white, no stroke. Okay. And you could select any shape that you want. I just have custom shapes uh, loaded here. So I'm going to choose uh, this one here. It's just on my PC, it says shape 1397. Again, this is something that you'll have to uh, load into your library. So I select that. Now I'm just going to uh, click and drag to draw the shape. Uh, there we go and I'm going to press enter to apply that now what I want to do on this layer the shape layer I want to select the blend mode to be overlay and then you can play around with the opacity uh, depending on the effect that you want to have for your, for this background so Could be right there. I uh, let's see. I set it to 30%, but again, that's something that you can play around with to get the effect that you want. So this is one way that you could create a comic book background in Photoshop. I'm going to have other videos on this uh, same subject, so watch out for those. I want to thank you for stopping by today. Hopefully you learned something new and you can apply what you learned in your current or future projects. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification so you always get updated when a new video is ready to be viewed. And also please like, share, and comment. Thanks again. I appreciate your support. You have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.